Hi there, this is Charles Clark and today I want to demonstrate using Windows 2012 deduplication as a target for Veeam backup and replication. So first thing I've got to do is just uh, add the disk to my Windows 2012 virtual machine that I'm going to use as uh, the volume for the deduplicated uh, backup target. So I'm just going to create a 100 gig volume here. I'll just do that inside the uh, virtual machine manager everything here is running on Hyper-V okay now I'm just going to go into server manager on that particular VM and uh, initialize and uh, that disk and, and create a volume on that disk Okay, so part of the new volume creation wizard in Server 2012 allows me to uh, actually implement dedup at this stage, but I can add deduplication and configure deduplication later on. So I'm just going to call that the G drive. We'll come up with a sensible name for the volume. Okay, and here I'm going to enable deduplication. So I'm just going to set that back down to one day. It's a slightly more aggressive dedup policy and I can schedule when I want the deduplication to run so the deduplication happens uh, you know as a kind of post processing event with Windows 2012 so the files would be on the disk then be deduped okay and there's my volume and uh, because there are no files on there older than a day yet the dedupe rate is set to zero so what do I need to do inside Veeam Backup and Replication well I just need to create a backup repository that uh, sits on that deduplicated volume or what will be the deduplicated volume so I'm just going to add that as a Windows server specify the uh, volume I created G drive in this case just create a folder I'm just going to stick with the defaults here you can see the free space and that's that very simple okay now the next thing I have to do is back up some virtual machines to that repository so I'm just going to create a backup job containing a couple of virtual machines uh, there they are you can see the sizes there specify the target backup repository number of restore points, the number of rollback points I want to maintain. Now the other thing I'm going to do here is just set the backup mode, mode to be reversed incremental I'm, and I'm going to switch compression off. I'll just define a schedule so let's run it every hour and uh, go ahead and do that. So I'm going to create a second backup job offline here. Okay so what were the results? We let that run for a day or so and uh, let's see so if I come in and look at the properties of the backup jobs, you can see there's my two backup jobs. So VM sizes are 60 gig each. Uh, they are thin provisioned. You can see the backup sizes there. It's about 17 gig, about 15 gig for this one. And you can see those sizes uh, just reflected in the file properties. So yeah, about 18 gig roughly for job one, about 16 and a half for job two. Okay, so I'm just going to force an optimization event. So those files have been sitting on that disk for a little while. So I'm just going to use PowerShell to uh, optimize deduplication for that G drive. This just forces that post-processing and forces a dedupe event, basically. The default schedule is once a day. And let's see the status. Let's see the results. Boom, here we go. So you can see it picked up seven files within policy. So that's the backups and their increments. And look at that space saving, 27.22. Fantastic. So you can see that uh, just in the interface here, the deduplicate is roughly about 79%. So that's really an incredible uh, space saving by using Windows as a backup target. So that's about 240 gigs of VM data based on the size of the VMs. Dedupe by Veeam backup and replication down to about 34.1 gig. Further dedupe by Windows down to 7.2. So we go from 240 
down to 7.2 gigs for backups. Pretty impressive. 